Hello awesome people, this is Dreinski, your map making guy. This video gonna be something completely new, as it won't be presenting you any map. Well, kinda. It's a guide. Yes, you hear that well, a guide on how to set up your landing page in Foundry. I'm not new with this, there is plenty of videos, I know that, but here you have everything handy and anytime you'll need to learn or refresh on how to trink around your landing page, this guide will get you covered. What? So, first things first. As you may know or not, I have a couple of nice animated landing pages around. So, let's start with an example of Avernus landing page. It has been created for my animated map module for the Send into Avernus inspired campaign, but the guide is pretty much universal and you'll easily apply the tips on any other landing page. So, go get and download it. It's in the free module of chapter 1 of Avernus campaign. Open your Foundry or Forge, type Drainsky in module browser and voila! Now, as you get the module installed, enable it. And import everything from the compendium and open the landing page. As you can see, there is not much clickable content here, but it's gonna change with another module. Monk's Active Tiles. This is where the magic happens. Download it, it's free, and enable the module in your world. What's special about Monk's Active Tiles? It basically enables you to create events or action when triggering tiles. In practice, that means you'll be able to click on your character portrait and a character sheet will pop up or maybe display a journal or any other handout upon clicking on the bookmark on the book. Let's create a simple tile that opens a journal. Here you got a bookmark created earlier. So the only thing you'll need is to set your selection to tiles and double click on the journal tile. Go to triggers and setup. In this case, in order to every player is able to open a journal, ensure that active checkbox is on, restricted tokens is set to allow all tokens, controlled by you set on anyone, when this is a trigger is set on click but there can be many triggers like on hover over or um, on movement, on token movement in, token movement out. Now the next one is allow when paused is on. So yeah, this is self-explanatory. That should allow all the players use the, to uh, use the tile whenever pause is on. Hover pointer is optional. But I recommend to have it on, just to give your player a feeling that something can be clicked. Rest of the parameters should stay as they are, no need to play around them now. And then you click Update Tile. Now, before we go into actions, let's create a simple journal entry, so we'll be able to open it on the click on the bookmark. Let's go to the journal create new journal entry, name it well journal and let's put some text like yay I have created a journal. Alright, let's get back to our bookmark and open its properties. We have a trigger set up but we must configure what action this trigger starts. To do that, let's see what's hiding under the action tab. 
click on the add button. As you see, there's plenty of actions that can be set for this tile. We'll focus only on one, open a journal to demonstrate, but feel free to go crazy with that. We'll keep things simple and now, as the dialog window changed, let's just select Entity, the very journal we'd like to open. I recommend just to click on the crosser and click on the journal from the main panel. Now update and update the tile. And you're all set. You and your players are now able to open the journal directly from the landing page. Same wise, you can also configure opening your player's character sheet by clicking on the portrait. Just create a tile with player's portrait and configure action open an actor sheet. You can also add the names to the characters as the text is fully editable. Yeah, just go crazy with it. There is no limits and you will create your own unique landing page. Remember, this guide shown you the very basic things, but there is plenty of more ways to set up the landing page. Especially, I recommend you this video in the top right corner to know more. Thank you for watching, remember to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe and put a comment. Have you been using the landing page before? Or maybe you plan for that? And if you have no idea what comment to add, just type hurdy-gurdy. Have a look also on my Patreon and... Amaze your players and power your game, set it in motion. Cheers, bye!